In this video, I'm going to show you the git ad user command and how to use it to get uh, Active Directory user accounts from your domain. Um, so I'll start off with a single account and then I'll show you how to get all users, users from OUs, and how to search um, the domain for specific accounts. So to get a single user, just do git ad user and then the perimeter identity and then the account you want to get. And you can use the SAM account to identify accounts. You can use the SAM account, distinguished name, GUID, security identifier. Uh, I typically use the SAM account because that's usually the user's logon name. So it's just easiest to, to use that. So there's the command. I'll run that. And you can see it's going to get uh, some limited information back from Active Directory. These are all the default properties, which is, may not be helpful. Um, Typically, you'll want to get specific information like uh, department, phone numbers, email, proxy addresses. So to get the additional properties, you'll want to use the properties perimeter and then the asterisk. Run this, and then you can see it's getting a lot more information back from Active Directory. And then to limit the results, you can use a pipe and then select and then list whatever uh, properties you want to display. So let me change to a different account because my account doesn't have much information in it. I'm going to use, grab this user's logon name and then I'll run it for this other user. And then I'm going to change, I just want to see the name department and the email address. So let me clear this, run it, and now you can see it's just displaying the user's name, department, and email address. And then you can just keep adding additional properties. So I can add the state, the city, and after you add, I think it's, yeah, it looks like four, one, two, three, four, after you add four properties, it puts it in this different format, which to me isn't very easy to read. And you can change that by doing a pipe format table. So now you can see I'm getting the single user and I'm getting the name, department, mail, state, and address. And again, you can just keep on adding whatever properties you want. Um, but that's a single account. So what if you want to get all users? To get all users, you will use filter asterisk. Um, and this, this single command right here is going to go grab every single um, user from your domain and display the, the default properties. So I'll just stop it, but you can see it's, it's grabbing everything, or not everything, but every user and the default properties. And to display all the properties for all the users, you do the properties asterisk and you can see that's a lot of information so what you'll want to do is pipe select and I'll just start with name so now this is going to go grab it get every user from the domain and just display their name and again just keep adding whatever department mail so now I'm getting uh, every every user from the domain I'm going to display the name, department, and mail. And there you go. If I scroll up, you'll see the, the headers here, the name, name, department, mail. So those, those are two very common. Um, just with those very few examples right there, you should be able to get um, lots of information from your domain by, by a single user um, and then all, all users. Um, another common scenario is you know you want to limit that to an OU. So to do that you'll need to get the distinguished name of that OU. So to, to do that just come into Active Directory, find the OU, go to Properties, Attribute Editor, and then find the distinguished name and then just copy that. And then We'll use the search base perimeter and then put that distinguished name in quotes. And when I run this, 
it will get every user from my accounting OU. And again, if you want to change the output, you can add properties, and then I'll do a select and I'll do name, department, and email address. And there you go. So that's displaying all the users from my accounting OU, and I'm displaying the name, department, and mail. So what if you want to search? Um, there's all kinds of search operators. Uh, you can do equal, not equal to, like, not like, wildcard stuff. Um, but let's do, let's search the domain for um, all users with a specific first name. So get a user. Run command. So get any user filter, and then the filter we're going to use. You put your filter in the quotation marks. So I'm going to. I want to search by first name, which that property is called given name. I want it to equal, and I want it to equal mark. So if I run this, you can see it's displayed all of the users with the first name mark. Make this easier to read. I'll do a select. And then I'll just do name. And there you can see it's displaying all of the users that just have the first name mark. Um, if I wanted to search for all users with the last name, just change your property here in your uh, filter. So I want to use last name, which the property name is surname. Um, and if, if you want to find, if you're confused on first name, last name, um, I've, I've got a quick uh, cheat sheet that shows you a visual of uh, what these translate to with their properties. And you can also come into the attribute editor and find them this way. These are the actual uh, attributes. So come back. And I'm going to do yep, surname, and I'm going to change this to Smith. So I want to find all users with the last name Smith. And there you go. All these users have the last name Smith. So I'll do one more example, and I'll link to an article that I've written that's got a bunch of examples. Let me show it to you here. So you can literally just come to this article and copy and paste some of these examples and I got a, I've got a bunch of them so this last one I'm going to do I will search the entire domain find users that have a that have a logon script set so you can see here this account has a batch file set as a logon script so I want to I want to know um, which accounts in my domain have a logon script configured So that command looks like this. We're doing a filter, and then we got our filter in the brackets here. So I'm, I want to search for script path, which is the logon script, and then I want it to not equal um, null. So that's saying I don't want the script path to be empty. And then I'm going to display the name and the value of the script path. So if I click run, there you can see it's pulled back all of the user's name and then the logon script that they have configured. So pretty easy. Um, it can go from easy to really hard. There's, you know, just to find, um, let me pull this up. So to display, you know, all users, that's a really simple command. To display single users, that's a really simple command. Um, but when you start, uh, messing around with filters it can get a little more complex but once you get the hang of it it's pretty simple to just do you know a filter and filter on a first name um, but you can you can really get a lot of useful information and, and find accounts in your domain which is which is some really simple filters um, but again you can start getting more complex and, and doing some really um, interesting uh, scripts so that's it for this video. Again, I'll link to my article. It's got more examples. And that's it. Thanks for watching.